Next uh, game of the week, we have got the Texans who will head into Minnesota and take on the Red Hot Vikings. Sam Darnold, good lord, who could have seven seen seven-year bump, baby, happening? Seven-year bump. He is throwing in tight windows. There are no ghosts on that field. And let me just tell you this. Not only is Sam Darnold playing well, this defense, which hasn't really been that great for the Minnesota Vikings, Brian Flores has them firing on every single cylinder. I've gone back and watched. I I don't watch too much extracurricular film of other teams, but I did go back and watch without favorite players of mine, but I did go back and watch to kind of see what, it was that was making this Minnesota defense kind of put everyone on, on notice. And it's a buy-in from every single player. They're doing this kind of two shell coverage that everybody's talking about, but they're bringing the safety all, uh, all the way up to the line of scrimmage. And he's dogging out at the snap. He has to run a, a four, two, just to get back to cover the over the top coverage. Um, they're doing the, they're doing the same thing where the linebacker is shelling all the way forward and then jumping back out to the bunch side. I mean, they're making some really, really smart moves that only a team that's fully bought in could make. And that's going to make for a scary run from this Minnesota team uh, on both sides of the ball. As far as the Who's Texans the go, Brian Flores. Oh, man. Great defensive yeah. coordinator, terrible head coach. Court. <laughs> yeah, well, but that's, that what, that's what makes a good DC. It's someone who, like, you as a def- defensive coach, you really just got to get your players to play for you. Because like that's all good defenses. Like they don't play for the head coach; they play for the defensive coordinator because they love him. That's right. Look at Spags. Uh, when we look over at the Texan side, a Buddy team Ryan. that's been red hot uh, all over last year, making the postseason with a rookie quarterback. You now bring in Stephon Diggs. They've been fantastic over the first two weeks of the season, and. Again, they they had a little scuffle last week uh, against the Bears. It was a close game, but the defense is uh, for the Texans is the reason why they were still in it and still were able to win at the end. They got after Caleb Williams, um, and now we'll have to see if that offense with C.J. Stroud tries to get some retribution after being snuffed out by that Bears defense last week. Like I said earlier, Stephon Diggs' revenge game, he's about to go yep. off. Mm-hmm. Two touchdowns. Is it a re- he's he's been yeah. on – hang on, he's – Stephon Diggs, he's been on two. Uh, uh, this is the second team since leaving the. Well, the, it's not like it's not necessarily like when, when he says revenge game. It's just like you want to get at your old team yeah. that you played for. It doesn't matter if it's the first time or the tenth time. I'm gonna fuck these motherfuckers up. Like that's that's the revenge game. I think Sean's talking about at least. And you know it's Stephon Diggs, the diva. So yeah, Would no. You, do you not expect it's gonna be fair. one for him? That's that's fair. All right, the, the, the diva. You got me on that part. Yeah, um, um, I think this is actually probably the best game of that noon, uh, that noon slate. I think this one, this one's like one of the last because you know what happens every Sunday. There's always the close games are always on like on at the end. It seems like, you know, like all the all the blowouts kind of end early because they're blowouts or whatever, and maybe one of the two games are close. But this game, this game's gonna go right up to that three o'clock slate. Let's go that three o five slate, which is a beautiful, beautiful slate. Not only this week, but like that time. I love it. It just flows. Everything flows because then your 325 games in it. I'm, I'm rambling. Sorry. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> no, I think this is the, this is easily the best game of the noon slate. And I think it's going to be close with the Texans. I think Stefan Diggs probably scores a late one. Ferda. For the boys. <laughs> 